Alright, so here we're going to be using Inventor to make a nice little snowflake that we can end up 3D printing. So you notice my snowflake here is actually pretty accurate. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points along the way. It has six planes of symmetry and it has rotational symmetry. So if you look at an actual snowflake, so right here is snowcrystals.com. Each one of these snowflakes has one, two, three, four, five, six points to it, or occasionally you'll have one that has 12 points to it. It's because of the way that the water molecules form together when you make a snowflake, or when the snowflake's made in the cloud. So each one of these water molecules, you know, has two hydrogens and one oxygen. When they form together, they make that little hexagon pattern. So that's why you have snowflakes in hexagons and six-sided and twelve-sided. So it has two forms of symmetry. You have your regular symmetry across the planes, just like a mirror. But then you also have rotational symmetry, which means when it rotates, it will look the exact same. So for example, let's take this one right here, this old snowflake, and let's take a look at this. Rotate it up right. So when I look at this, I have a very clear line of symmetry right down the middle. So my left half looks like my right half. Also, if I look at this angle, this bottom half looks like that top half at the end right here. So that's six clear planes of symmetry, but also if you look in between those, let's split those in half, you notice that this half looks like that half, so I actually end up having 12 planes of symmetry in this one. I also have rotational symmetry, so if I take my picture and I rotate my picture across the middle. When I rotate it, it still looks the same. When I rotate it again, it still looks the same. So it has rotational symmetry. So we know that this one has six points. Each one of those points is split into two. So that's six times two, that's 12. We know there's 360 degrees in a circle. So 12 sides, that equals 30 degrees. So I know I need 30 degrees to work with for my image. Now you may think, I have no idea what it looks like when I split a circle into 12 sides, but if you look at a clock, it's your circle. Each one of these is split into 30 degrees. So if, again, if I look at my snowflake, and I look at my clock, so this one right here, that's 30 degrees, that's 30 degrees right there. So in Inventor, we're going to come in And first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a 3-inch circle because we're going to be just working in 3 inches. We're going to work with only 30 degrees right here. So if I look at my clock, I'm just working between this 12 and 1 o'clock right here. Then I'm going to mirror that using the mirror to get that reflection right there, get that symmetry. So now I've got from 11 to 1 right there. And then I'm going to use the rotation, the circular pattern, to get my entire image right here. 